Hello, welcome to my channel. I'm Janet Yong, and in my channel, I share about feng shui, ba zi, entrepreneurship, as well as personal growth, especially in the areas of communication success and motivation. In today's episode, as I promised, I'll be talking about what is the facing of an apartment or block. The reason why I'm shooting this particular episode is because I get asked this question very, very often. So why is it so important for us to know the facing? Now, when we're looking at facing itself, there are a couple of things that we're looking at. It can be facing our computer, that's our facing direction when we're working, or it could be the facing of your main door, or it could be the facing of an apartment or block or the facing of a stove. For today's episode, I'll be focusing on the facing of an apartment or block. And why this is crucial? It's because coming in period 9, the Flying Star Feng Shui is important and the Flying Star natal chart or basic energies within an apartment, an office building or a house is determined by the facing of the house, the office building or the apartment block. So without further ado, let's move on to the next segment where I'll share more. Welcome to this segment where I'll share about what is exactly the facing of an apartment or block or an office building which is confusing quite a lot of people including myself when I first started Feng Shui. I basically learned from different masters. Some masters will say you take the facing based on the main entrance, you take the facing based on the block or the sun shadow, you take the facing based on an apartment. Now this can be utterly confusing for a newbie who is just starting to learn feng shui. So what did I do? I basically went back to basics and really understand what it means when we are talking about flying star feng shui energies itself. Now in flying star feng shui, which is Shen Kong flying star feng shui, history has stated it started probably more than 2000 years ago but it was never properly documented as in many Chinese arts or learnings where it's passed from master to disciple over many periods of years and generally this particular formula got popular only in the Qing dynasty about two to three hundred years ago and that's when it was more documented in different books. And what we are looking at when we look at the definition in terms of flying star feng shui where they determine the facing of an apartment or the energies that come in every 20 years like we are talking about period 8 and period 9 it's determined by the most young energy or qi coming into a building. Now you also have to remember that this art that was shared is more than 2000 years old and probably documented a couple of centuries ago and the world has changed significantly. So similar to Ba Zi, when we're looking at this art, we need to look at it, understand the basic meaning and then apply it in this modern world. And that's what I did to help me reduce the confusion. Let me share with you a little bit more about what I have found. Now when we're looking at the facing of a house, the facing of a house can generally be from the perspective of the main door. However, if you look at certain houses that are built today, the main door may be facing, for instance, a wall, whereas the garden door or the sliding balcony door is facing towards where the young energy is. Now, what do you mean by young energy? Young energy can generally mean a garden, it can mean a road, a highway, a pond, somewhere where most of the wind or energy that comes in from. So in a case where a house has its main door facing the highway, the garden, then it's quite straightforward. The main door facing is the house facing. If you look at, for example, a house that has got a sliding door or balcony door looking out into the garden or pond, then likelihood the sliding door area or the sliding door facing is the facing of the house rather than the main door which is towards the side of a house. Now let's come to buildings. What about buildings? Buildings, there are many different sorts today. 
there are office buildings where basically you are looking at only one or two main entrances where you have one lift lobby main entrance going to an office block and if you go to the various different levels of the office itself the offices do not have an open window it is glass window looking outwards so where are all the young energy coming from the young energy is coming from level one main lobby main entrance so that's the facing of the office building itself so if i'm determining flying stars from that perspective it will be what i'm looking at which is different from of course your office door facing your sitting down facing direction of a computer here we're talking about flying star nature chart in terms of the permanent energies that are within which i talked a lot about and if you are not sure you can go to my feng shui series that i'm pointing here to understand more about flying star feng shui now what about that of a condo or a apartment block where we reside now if a condo is similar to that of an office where there's only one entrance and each of the apartment especially in service apartments in condos and all those where the windows are generally not open then in a similar concept most of the young energy is coming from the level one main leaf lobby or main entrance of that leaf lobby the confusion comes when especially in singapore you have many apartment blocks where there are multiple leaf lobbies and these leaf lobbies are not situated in a confined area let me show you a couple of pictures in this picture itself you can see that the hdb block in singapore has on level one multiple areas where energy can go in from because basically the building is on different pillars or stilts we call it so where do you measure the main facing of the building and if you look at a leaf lobby there can be multiple leaf lobbies like i'm showing in this particular picture do you take the measurement from this leaf lobby going into your home does this energy from this leaf lobby go straight into your home that's the question you ask and then when you go to your individual level there are multiple HDB blocks in Singapore where the corridor is open air as well. So do you take the facing from your lift lobby at the level that you are at? Do you take it at your main entrance? Where do you take it from? This were also the questions that I had myself when I was learning Feng Shui because different masters will be teaching based on their experience and interpretation of the text. They are not wrong. I'm not asking you to say any person who's advocating a different method is wrong. It's basically based on their experience. So in everything that we learn, especially when we're moving into period nine, is to really be intelligent and test and ask lots of questions based on your experience as to what really applies. So in this particular case, then do I take the facing of an apartment block from the lift lobby at level one from the leaf lobby at the level that the unit is at or within the unit itself so let's take a look at a couple of pictures from the views of the various different apartments that i've been doing over the years these are views from within the apartment windows that are facing within a condo so you can see water you can see gardens you can see a distance ahead and these are the views that I've also seen from HDB apartment blocks. It can be highways, it can be gardens in the longer distance. And therefore, if you stand within the unit itself, where do you think the most young energy is going to come from? Is it going to come from the main door of the apartment unit that is facing your neighbor's unit? Is it going to come from the windows that are facing these views? that is a question you need to answer and that's how i basically figured out what is the facing so what's my answer for over these past 18 years of practicing feng shui in many high rise buildings is number one if it is an apartment or office 
where there is only one main lift lobby and entrance the rest of the building or the apartment that you are going into do not have its windows open so therefore most of the young energy is going to come from that level one main entrance and that will be the facing of your apartment of your office block however if it is an apartment block like a hdb block or a condo block that has an open influx of energy on level one and at every single level then the energy that you're going to be getting into your apartment unit that you are basically breathing the energy or the young energy from it's likely going to be either the main door or the windows or living balcony which faces the highway a garden the waterway where most of the energy is coming from and that's my experience and it's quite interesting sometimes you may have so many windows coming from different directions what then is the facing and at that point in time i will usually check the experiences of my clients and they will be able to tell me based on the different facing directions and that's how i basically determine based on their experiences that they have stayed there for a couple of years to know i've also got experiences where maybe at the beginning i'm measuring the house facing based on a particular direction for instance northeast one and after a couple of years when the customer does major upgrade and she took down some electrical wiring from across the main living balcony entrance which i measured northeast first sector and her experiences changed and when she gave me a call on why suddenly her family is going through a lot of accidents a lot of injury then i was wondering to myself unless this house has changed to a north one and for that particular year the inner energies aggravated it it shouldn't happen so what i did was i went back to measure and true enough just a removal of a wire ring across her main living room balcony ceiling affected the reading and the house or the living room door has shifted back to north and therefore the flying star energies has changed so this has been my experiences and that's why i truly believe that the facing of an apartment block or apartment unit it actually depends on the structure of the building itself whether is it just one entrance coming where the energy is coming from or whether most of the energy is coming from the unit and i encourage all of you whether you are learning ba zi or learning feng shui to be discerning to know that things change it's not one formula that is correct all the time because there are basics that we follow there are fundamentals that we follow but the world is changing so significantly especially when we're going to period nine that you should learn and apply along the way no one formula will remain the same throughout the years when things change no single way of thinking for instance in period eight we talk about a stable income a stable career growth this is no longer going to be there in this new period and new era so that's the end of my sharing today i hope you have enjoyed what i shared with you and i look forward to seeing you in my channel in a new episode see you the next time goodbye